All right, so uh, the octopode ice element is elemental has failed on me. It uh, well, I made a mistake and I got myself killed. I figure we'll try and go back to um, one of the uh, species and races that I'm a little bit, you know, a little bit more familiar with. Uh, but we'll make it a little bit more difficult. We'll go to Centaur Transmuter here. The Centaur is uh, the fast uh, moving four legged uh, horse on with a t male torso guy. And the transmuter, of course, um, I had a little bit difficulty with him, but I've actually played with a transmuter successfully, so I have a little bit more forethought on how to play them. They take a little bit of get getting used to, but they can play really nice if you put your mind to how to play them. All right, so here's our central transmuter. We start off with you know fighting on our combat, a little bit of dodging. Let's gonna turn off all this stuff here. Now, what I want to do right away is basically get my transmutations up and spellcasting up a little bit. I'll get dodging up a little bit too, just to even that out. But um, primarily, what I want to do is I want to get transmutations up right away and get myself Six of Snakes going really quickly. Because Six of Snakes is an awesome spell. Probably the best spell in terms of uh, what it offers. Okay, there's the opening. Now, I start off, of course, with my Beastly Appendix skill. It's my first transmutation ability. And what it does, it just randomly gives you your horns or um, hooves or talons, or it gives you uh, um, claws in your hands. Now, because I've already got hooves, I only get claws or horns. And if I put on a helmet, I'll only get claws. So, a couple things to note there. There's a gecko. Put this on. Ow. Come on, die. Okay, we got him. Now, because I'm a, I'm a centaur, I can run away from stuff, which will probably pose a significant advantage. So I can run away from this guy, wait till I get my mana back, and we try it again. Boom! Oh, easily enough, he died. Okay, we got a mite up there. That'll be a little bit more dangerous. Now, because I got low stealth, I'm not gonna be able to run away from stuff. I can try, but it won't work too well. Okay, we got ourselves a large ball of hands. Level 2, awesome. A net trap, let's try stepping it. Do, 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 do. do this, go this way, kill you. All right, got him. Ouch, I dart. He's got darts. And he had a ring meal too. I'll pick that up. And we'll see what he's got. He's got ring meal of cold resistance. That's okay. I'll be happy with that. There's some arrows. Now, the centaur transmitter, I guess the main strategy you want to use with this guy is you want to pick up um, arrows for um, six, six of snakes, and that's primarily what you'll be using arrows for. I won't be using them for ranged combat. I probably won't even, um, even worry about ranged combat on this guy, just because um, ranged combat doesn't synergize very well with uh, transmitters at all. Just their combat style prevents it from working very well. Okay, there I had claws. I can tell that because you can go into your thing here and I'll say, you know. Um, I failed to cast a spell. Never mind. Transitions two, spell casting two. We'll turn those off just for a moment. I'll get dodging up a little bit more. There's a null. I'm gonna back off from this guy. Do this. Beat him up in a melee. Dodging two. We'll get int. Um, we're gonna get a little bit more dodging. It doesn't hurt me to constantly get you know a little bit more dodging on my character. It's going to be my, one of my defensive abilities anyway, so... This way, this way, this way. That should be it for this level, but it looks like just, just a little bit more to explore. Done. Alright, I can get Six of Snakes and Spire Form at this point. We'll get uh, Six of Snakes first. That's your 
staple spell for keeping you alive in the early game. Whenever there's a bad situation, just pull up a few snakes and death. Death will result. I usually would pick up stones because, you know, they're useful for throwing out jellies. Not so much for the transmutator. I'll only pick up a few just to sort of get people's attention. The thing with about transmutators is that they don't really have any weapons like a crow to when they hit the jelly, so it's not a whole lot of, uh, whole lot to, you know, gain by throwing stones at them to serve your weapons and such. Do, do, do. That's uh, probably a Zom altar, and that buy is probably got a Chaos Dagger. I'm just going to guess that. Guess that. Uh, we're going to quiver our stones here and start throwing, throwing. I know this is probably a Dagger Poison, so I'll pick it up. I could try and go to the Zom altar, but we won't buy. We'll just continue on. So this dagger, I know it's chaos, is because it was, you know, on a guy who was next to the Zom altar, so that just, you know, prove it. Chaos dagger, don't want to be hip, so I'll hold on to it until I find a temple. Sigmund. All right, Sigmund's a little bit dangerous, especially when it goes, especially invisible like that. We're just gonna run away from him because, you know, I'm a centaur. I can run away from guys, and I'll make use of that. There's a horn helmet that is going to be very beneficial for allowing me to, um, what do you call it? I can basically use the uh, helmet. Ouch. Ouch. Right, I have to press control A because Seaman turned invisible and I didn't see him yet. All right, let's wear this helmet. It is this a regular helmet? So what this helmet does is, because I'm wearing this now, um, I'm going to get myself the uh, jabbing type of attack of a um, of a bovine horns with it. Plus, I'm also not going to transform my head to it, and I'm also always going to get the application of claws. So, close the door. Close the door. Close the door. No more sleeping is now. All right, move on. There's a bat. So if I come in here, I'll find something worth. I'm not going to go fight something just yet, so we're just going to close the door. Close the door. And let's just go this way. I'm just going to stay away from Sigmund a little bit. I'm actually missing some rooms, but we'll worry about it in a moment. I'm staying away from Sigma for a moment. Go up here. Why not? We'll go here. There's an ooze. Alright, so here's where we're gonna just do it. I have no appropriate body parts free. Why do I not have any body parts free for beastly appendages? Or maybe you don't want to get claws. Let's read that. This spell makes you temporarily replace one of your pair of appendages with an animal counterpart, giving you an extra attack. It's not powerful enough to mill armor. So I guess um, maybe it doesn't work with claws anymore. Which means Beastly Appendix is not kind of useless to me. Which is fine. I mean, I'm not going to use Beastly Appendix in the long run. Get this. There's a rat. Kill you. Bat flesh. Uh, let's see here. Let's throw stones to the newt. Ow. Yeah, yeah, worm did. Okay, we'll heal up. I'm just gonna. I'll explore. Probably run into Sigmund. There he is again. Um. We're gonna just move this way, this way, ow. 
run away from Sigmund. Here's a view of the center. I can explore levels very easily because I can just run away from everything that I don't like. It's, it's beautiful. Let's pick this up. This way, this way. There we go, we're done. Probably explore, can't reach all places because of the Zom. We'll go, whoa, there's Sigmund. But I've got a staircase. Go up here, go here. Let's go the other direction from him. I'll drop off this and this. I'm actually going to put on his ring now. It's a ring of intelligence. I actually want that because it'll help me spells. Um, once I get dodging up the free, which I shouldn't have gotten up that high, but just because I like even numbers. Okay, we're gonna back off from this uh, guy. He's got he's got a ruined dagger, so I don't want to take too many chances fighting guys here. Ding ding. Got plenty of daggers to check out. Not to mention scrolls. I should actually look at my scrolls soon. Get a gecko. Level 4, awesome. I'm actually gonna do that to its door. It could be something dangerous, I don't want to go in there and get killed. Ah, uh, sure, we'll take this out. I'll be careful of Sigmund, right? But I also want to explore the way up for stuff. Okay, here's a adder. Um, the adder's not too dangerous, I guess, but yeah, if it poisons me, I'm just going to run away. Uh oh. Okay, we'll close the door. And I was going to run around to explore. There's a worker ant. Okay, we just keep getting guys who can poison me over and over again. Um, because I have the advantage, I'll just keep running away from these stupid beasts that can't um, follow me. There's the adder. Let's close the door. Apparently, the orc opened the door, so I've got to probably fight it. But for now, I can just sort of... Yeah, there is. Ow. Dodging free, we'll take that. I'll start focusing on my transmutations again. First thing I want to get up to like level 5 before I start encountering poisonous enemies that can... You know, pot potentially kill me. Uh, I can actually get Ice Form now, but I don't have the, uh, you know, the ability to cast it just yet. I could also memorize Spire Form, but the thing about Spire Form is what it's beneficial for is basically poisoning enemies and uh, fast mo uh, movement. I don't really benefit from either of those so much. It's not a bad thing to get, but it's not a great thing. There's a Hobgoblin. Kill a kobold. Go the stairs up, stairs down. There's the newt. Ah, sure, we'll eat the hot goblin. Ah, uh, there's the worm from before. We'll just throw some stones at that. I'll beat him up. Beat the bat. There's the other adder. So one I was chasing, you know, before. There's a knoll. And a knoll did see me, so I'm gonna have it for company soon. Hopefully this doesn't kill me. Okay, we got it. Uh, I want to heal up a little bit from this poison. Up oh, no, no. 
We'll back up this a little bit. You feel sick. Okay, I want to deal this knoll, I guess. I didn't want to pick up that stones, but oh well. Let's go this way, this way, this way. That knoll kicked my ass a little bit there. Another knoll. Smell something rotten. Ah, eh, why not? We'll take this one too. Bing, bing, bing. Okay, transportation is free. Level 5. There's a ball python that's easy enough to kill. There's that worker ant. We'll start throwing stuff at because I'm level 5 now. Constantly being poisoned on this level. Alright. And we got yeah, another poisoner. The blow gunner. Okay, we're just gonna back off from him, wait for him to get close, beat him up. Um He not, he did not unequip that blow gun, did he? Let's see here. Yeah, he hit me with the blow gun. When you see this, that's probably an indication that this is gonna be cursed. So I don't wanna you know, use a cursed blow gun. We're just gonna leave that blow gun away. We'll leave it. Uh, do 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 do. Partly explore can't reach all places, so I know that right here we've got vault to explore and open it. Is this a altar to the human? The human's not a bad god to worship or transmitter, but not exactly. Well, I suppose it, I suppose I could worship him actually. Um, gaining mana per. Well, here's the thing. When you're transmuting, you're not really going to be benefiting from from offensive spells. You're most, basically with transmutators um, using spells prematurely to buff yourselves up, and then not just you know tearing through your enemies afterwards. You don't really use attack spells or ranged attacks afterwards. It's just you know you, this is the thing about the transmuter style. You're not really using um, spells or ranged attacks outside of just the pre pre meditated buffs. It was all about. Put this on. There's Guardian Spirit. That's, that's actually kind of useful. I mean, once I use my spells, this is actually one of the few uh, combos where I actually will actually want to use Guardian Spirit. So I'll keep it on. I mean, I don't need to have mana outside of uh, what do you call it? I don't need mana outside of just casting the pre the premeditated uh, transmutation buff. Afterwards, is just, you know, not needed as much. Alright. I've got lots and lots of scrolls. Do, 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 do. There's a kobold. There's a hobgoblin. There's an orc. And the orc actually fell through the the ground there, sadly for him. There's Menkar, he sped himself up. I don't want to be facing him to torment me. Luckily, because I'm a centaur, I can outrun him, I think. Yes, I can. Hooray for being outrun to outrun the uh, speed sped up mummy. There's another staircase up. Um, a phantom. Phantoms are not friendly to fight, but I can take it. I think. The thing about unarmed combat is that it's actually really brutal to fight with against, you know, even simple stuff like phantoms. Boom. Level 4. Um... Uh, there we go, we've got access to Blade Hands now. That's actually the, the chief spell I want to get up and running as quickly as possible, so we'll actually memorize that. You'll notice something there. Um, you no longer have to worry about uh, failing to memorize spells. Whenever you uh, have like less than 100% to memorize something, you memorize it. It just gives you a warning. You may not be able to cast a spell, which is fine. 
There's an eyeball. Feed me. Feed me. It didn't feed me. Slastered. And now I'm hungry. Oh, let's eat the lemon. The lemon's actually really filling, apparently. Throw a stone. There's a hobgoblin. There's a nice staircase up. There's the knoll. I know that bat is somewhere over here. Come on, die. Ah, oh boy, yet more poisoners on this level. Bell run to Menkar again. There's another poisoner. I'm forever hungry. That's something to know about uh, centaurs, though. Centaurs have fast metabolism, so they actually get hungrier faster. You want to be really careful with um, your food, basically. Oh boy, we got uh, open level. I hate open levels. Okay, just throw this at him. Throw that at him. An ogre, too. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. We're just going to let this knoll here get close, and it's going to pull up. Uh, I just got hit by something that uh, was a distortion weapon. We are now in the abyss. Okay, this might be a very short-lived episode. Um, if I survive this, yay. If not, I'm screwed. Now, luckily, with, uh, I have yet to, uh, worship a god. That's a simple choice. Okay, now, I can depart the abyss whenever I want to, but while I'm here, I can pick up stuff, so I'll do that. I mean, I can outrun a lot of stuff, right, so... If I, if I can save my piety, or if I can get out of here, I will. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, I don't have any more options here. We have to leave. Depart the abyss. You pass through the gate. Who has the, the weapon? He's got the weapon. I've got to kill him first. Wow, that hurt. And he hit me again. Okay, I want to just run away from those guys until... You know, I peel up a little bit. Uh, eat this. Here I'm like thinking the knoll was like the most dangerous thing there. Nope, it's the kobold. Kobold's more dangerous. Now if I, uh, okay, I don't want to be hit by that distortion weapon again. I can't depart the abyss just yet, so... Um, I want to find the kobold, and I just basically want to throw rocks until he falls down. Uh, shoot, where did he go? There's a hound over here. There's the stones that I had before. Transitation 5, that'll hopefully... Ah, I've got a lot of work to do to get my transportations up to the cast blade hands. There's a quokka. Now hopefully... That was him. Okay, I don't have to worry about that stupid distortion-wielding kobold again. That was a, this annoying, but luckily I got Abyss before I even worshipped up a god, so awesome for me. Well, I'm actually here. Let's just check out what all this other stuff does. You're not going to really use weapons on, um, a, what do you call it, a, a transmutator, but it doesn't mean that, you know, it's a bad thing to pick them up and see what you've got. I mean, if you find an awesome weapon right away, it can be useful. Uh, let's read some of these scrolls. I've got... What's this one? Probably. 
let's assume this one is nothing. That's probably recharging then. I've got no wants to test that though, sadly. Come on, die. Now here's the thing, I don't have a good short blade, so killing that bat was a little bit more difficult. Alright, I actually want to go down here a moment. Pick you up. Let's go with this scroll. That's teleportation. Let's go up, wait for it to teleport me. I think it had teleport me when I wasn't even paying attention. There's my car. Um... Where's the things? It's over here. Okay, either way, I feel like I gotta ram that car before. I can get downstairs. Go here. Okay, I'm gonna read these scrolls now. There's a chant weapon one. There's the ruined dagger, no longer cursed to me. Drop it. Let's see what these other ones are. This one was a draining dragger. This mace is crushing. Nothing really, you know, spectacularly important, but I don't want to be hit by any of this stuff, so there's that to think about. Do that. I actually want to put on the ring. That's just the curse ring. I don't want to wear that. Uh, let's try to get remove curse going. Fear. This is probably. Okay, I've, one of these scrolls that I've been using is Identify. Um, I know this because uh, I'm trying to use the... Well, let's put it this way. Neither of them are enchant armor, so one of them is Identify. Let's try this one on the potions. So that's recharging, probably. That one is Identify. Okay, so there we go. I know what my Identify scrolls are. That one has got a question mark if he's charging. And here's an Ogre. Um, the ogres aren't actually too dangerous for me, because I can just, uh, do this. And here's where we use six snakes. Boom, 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 and we just tell them all to jump on them. And there we go. And now we just, like, you know, wait around, let the Indian ogre die, pick up his club, dart at me. Okay, that's got. There's an altar to your journal. Alright, let's go back to read my scrolls. This one is Remove Curse, that's good. I want to get rid of this. And, um, well, let's just push on. I'll just try and figure out what these other scrolls are in our time. I just hit a teleport trap, and then we're next to an ice beast. Um, I don't want to get my potions destroyed or anything, so I'm just going to run away from this guy. Pick that up. A hound skeleton is, is faster. Is it faster than me? Or just as fast? No, it's not faster. So I'll just outrun that guy. There's a staircase downstairs. I could probably kill that ice beast, but I don't want to get my potion smashed. There is something more dangerous though than the, uh, what do you call it? The ice beast. We're just going to run away from him then. We. Get up this hound. Alright, I probably should kill this guy. He's just going to be annoying if I don't. Um, I don't I don't have access to sticks to stakes, so we're just going to wield our giant club. Or I can't do that, can I? No, it's too large for me to wield, so we have to go with uh, arrows. And we go like this. Go like this. Back up. Go like this. I'm getting no luck with uh, casts like these, sadly. And I'm 
in trouble here. I got the stupid stuff all around me. Um. All right, let's try and take these guys, I guess. Run away a little bit there. Let's craft the potion of curing. If I get my potions at least, which is good, but um Pop this one more time. He's not running away, which is kind of annoying. Okay, he finally died. Yeah, this, this giant club is useless to me, so I'll drop it too. Now, I probably just bored at just because of the stupidity of like how I was fighting there. I would have gone a lot better if I had been smarter on how it worked. There's a protection dagger. And what's in here? Is this like the temple, perhaps? It's an altar of some sort. This area here. Another hound skeleton. Uh, sacrificial items here. Ignore them? Oh yeah, that's right. Because, um... Because I'm with the Laguna, I can sacrifice corpses. Sacrifice that. That's a good little thing to be reminded about. Uh, let's zap this guy. Boom. That's Ram effects. Interesting. I just made him invisible. Well, I know where he is now, so... Zap this direction. I feel troubled. Well, that's just because he, uh... Boom. I missed him. Nothing happens around charges. I'm not going to recharge this wand. So, we're not even going to bar trying to keep it. Boom, 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 boom. I could probably take that Orc Priest. If he's not visible and he's no longer is, so let's kill him. Hey, he's just throwing rocks at me. Right. I keep forgetting I can sacrifice corpses now. Eventually I'll get into the, you know, the, the mood. I can sacrifice items. I can sacrifice items. Okay, everything is dead. What is over here? Nothing, I guess. Just an odd dungeon feature that all that was. Okay, uh, go here. There's a giant frog. I can take the giant frog a bet. Ow. That kind of hurt. One, two. There's an orc. I'll drop those. There's an adder. Tough little adder. Oh, we got ourselves a centaur. Okay, this is a good opportunity just to sort of, you know, let the centaur get close, so... Just hit the adder a couple... or let it hit me a couple times, and we take the centaur in melee. Boom, we got him. Invocation's now one. I'll turn that off. I don't know why I'm training invocations, but I'll train it up this to one just to get it out of the way. This. Heal up. There's a Shevardos Art Altar. There's a thick glowing staff. This is a Staff of Fire. Maybe it'll be useful, I don't know. You don't use weapons on transmutators, but it doesn't mean like you can't benefit from having them. Staves are, you know, magic, magical staves are a staple thing you can use. Um, we're going to do something risky here. We're going to uh, try and lean this guy. I'm going to wield the arrows. I'm going to get myself six of snakes going. I'm just going to back off a little bit. 
Ugh! Ugh! I'm getting no snakes at all worthwhile. There's that ogre again. Okay, I'm gonna go out here. Boom. There we go. There we go. Attack him. Now, here's the thing. My, I'm not no, I'm not so worthless I can't possibly fight an ogre, so I can let my six to snakes he hit me really hard. Bastard, he got hit on me. You know, thinking about it, I don't want these clubs either. I found you don't really need to have six of snakes a whole lot, but it's 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 just so important to have the ability to use that spell that spell for targets on a transmutator. But you don't need to have, you know, oodles and oodles of stuff to use to cast it. Kill this knoll. Kill this work rant. Transmutation seven, awesome. Oh, we got ourselves in our knoll and geckos and such. And apparently a knoll came down to say hi. Um, okay, I'm cutting it way too close. Still misses the knoll, still misses the knoll. Okay, he's out of the way, and I got evocations to one. Turn that off. Um, it's gonna be a while before I can like get the other abilities of Luke Nuno, but hopefully, I will get them online. You threw a club at me, you bastard. Bing, bing, bing. Now, let's go upstairs. We'll heal up a little bit. And I'll go down and beat this guy up. Charge this one. Kill that one. Okay, those are rotten now, sadly. This is turning into a survival fest, pretty much. Me just eating corpses. So, there's an iguana. I don't like iguanas, they're kind of nasty to fight. The thing about Iguanas is that they can hit you hard with multiple attacks. I'm starving. That's annoying. I should have done six of snakes before I fought this guy. Okay, I'm just gonna run away and eat something. Eat this. Jackals. Sacrifice, sacrifice. Uh, I'll go down here. I'm going to try and fight this guy one more time. Okay, we got him. The thing about Guanza is that they have three attacks. Bites, scratching, and scratching, I believe. And their attacks, you know, can just mount like a troll in terms of damage. If you can't dodge him. And I can't because I'm a centaur, so I have poor dodging to begin with. Okay, I can probably kill this amp if I get lucky. Get some hits on him. There we go, level 8. And let's see here. I can still memorize spells at this point, so I might, might as well. Let's get Spire Form out of the way and I'll just get the other one when I get the chance. I got a ring here and stuff, so let's go test this stuff out. This is Ring of Fire. I don't need Ring of Fire, so we'll take off the Ring of Fire. This amulet is dented up something of something. Let's see what this, uh, I don't have any identified scrolls are. Oh well, um, try this one. I'm going to guess this is armor. There is enchant armor, okay. So I got enchant armor, identify, and uh, I know what recharging is, so that's good to know. No idea. Colonel's the desk. Don't care about that one. Cursed jewelry. That's a bit annoying. A cursed am amulet is something to me. I don't know what it is, so that's, a bit, that's actually kind of a bad thing. I don't know if it's good or bad. That amulet. Throw these guys at him. Kill this frog. This orc. Um, let's just charge the wizard. And 
and we'll get rid of his corpse. Hopefully the Laguna will be pleased enough to give me Ben's space soon. Kawana. Ouch. Throw a couple of stones at him. Okay, we're, here's where I'm going to actually make use of uh, Six of Snakes again. Do this. Do that. Do that. Do that. And he got constricted, so he can't move forward to me. He's going to try and struggle to escape, but he won't, hopefully. Get this going. Just throw stones at him. He's gone. There's a hound. Now, this looks like the Ecumical Temple entrance is because of the layout. There we go. Temple. I've already, you know, gotten Laguna, but whatever. It's fine that I can find a temple and have a place to stash stuff. Uh, let's drop this. Boom, 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 boom. All dropped. And what else am I dropping? Well, we're dropping a Hanskown because it's useless to me. The book is de de debilitation. It gives me hexes. Hexes aren't too bad to have around. Um, but I probably won't be memorizing them, you know, this to be game. I'll probably be too focused on our stuff. So drop debilitation. I'm going to drop... What else? What else? What's this scroll? That was fog. I just realized I stole that robe. We'll drop that robe. Drop the robe. I'm going to drop amnesia. Enchant armor. Enchant weapon. I have removed curse. Why am I uh, worrying about this amulet? I don't know what the amulet is, so we'll take it off in a moment. It might be um, inaccuracy, so I'll just stick to Guardian Spirit for now. And I don't know what these potions do, so I'll drop off at least the ones that I have single digits of. And we want to drop off the yellow potion. At the rate I'm going, I probably won't need poison needles, so we'll just ignore them. Okay, I should think we're looking pretty good to keep going. I'll explore us this level and be done with it. There's a pair of gauntlets, those are useful. Wheel D's. Oh, sacrifice it, why not? There's a shop. I want that shop. See what's in it. And he's got um, Elven Saber, Still Darts, Club, Flail. He's got a Hand Axe of Centaur's Peril. That's actually not a bad weapon if I run into um, Nicola, but I don't know if I'll run into him. I don't need to buy it just yet, so not worry about it. Kill this guy. Right. Have to sacrifice it. Done exploring, okay. At this point, I made it to the Chemical Temple. That's a good stopping point. I'll cut the video here, and we'll uh, pick it up in the um, next video.